Hey guys, welcome to a lawn mowing simulator game update. Uh, this just came out on the Discord uh, this morning, and it is a roadmap for the 2021-2022 year. Um, as you can see here, the Patterson ROA, which was released uh, about two weeks ago in one of their updates, um, was released in September, which is still this month, I should say. And then it looks like uh, later in October, we're going to get a vertical run uh, lawnmower called the Skag V-Ride. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the way that that will work as far as the perspective that you'll have uh, riding it. Um, and then in November, they have planned what they call a strimmer. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But here in the United States, we call that an edger or a weed whacker or a weeder. And that's something that I've talked about in my videos is uh, the ability to have um, a way of trimming up against hedges or walls so that you don't have any collision damage on your lawnmowers. Also in January, they're going to be releasing a, looks like a gas powered blower. Currently in the game, there is nothing that would require a blower other than grass clippings. So it'll be interesting to see if they actually uh, implement like falling leaves onto the properties. Uh, cause as you know, if you're playing the game, there is a season that we are playing in. So the more you mow, the calendar is moving through the months. So it'll be interesting to see if when we get to a fall or a winter time, if things change. And I know you don't mow your grass in the winter time, um, but in the fall time, you get a lot of falling leaves and that'd be kind of cool. Um, some additional in ongoing patches that are gonna be putting out is mower balance adjustments, expansion of business management elements, further wheel support, which will be interesting because uh, if you play with a PC, and you have keyboard and mouse, you'll know that the sensitivity is pretty wild. Um, I actually had to buy a controller uh, to play some of the in-game lawnmowers because they're so powerful and so fast. Um, and even then the sensitivity is still little, still little tight. So um, maybe they'll introduce some kind of a slider system in the UI that'll allow you to control the sensitivity of steering. They're also gonna be bringing out quality of life additions. And then of course, always bug fixes and improvements um, and if you follow them on Discord, they're always trying to uh, implement those into games and small patches. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, it looks like they are really committed to making the game uh, have a lot more content than what it currently has. And that's great. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do hit the subscription button. And I will see you next time, guys.